Well, this time of year sees more tornadoes strike in parts of the US. Towns can be flattened and the potentially deadly storms strike. Our New South Wales weather meteorologist Alison Osborne looks us through how they form. Look out! A tornado is here and it's incredibly violent. The winds have picked up to speeds over 300 kilometres per hour. Debris is flying everywhere like missiles. It's the most terrifying weather event you can find yourself in. But wait, how did we get here? Let's rewind a few hours. Whew, thank goodness. This is looking much better. Doesn't this look like a nice day? We're standing in Midwest America. It's hot and you can sense a storm is on its way. Let me show you where we are on the map because we're in a place called Tornado Alley and it's known as that for a reason. That's because it's the dangerous meeting point of air masses. You have warm, moist air pushing in from the Gulf of Mexico, warm, dry air coming in from Texas and then cold, dry air coming down from the mountains. It's a bad mix and the perfect conditions for supercell thunderstorms and tornadoes. So what happens when those air masses meet? On the surface, you have that warm, moist air and it doesn't mix well with the dry air above. The warm air is pushed higher rapidly. It cools and condenses, forming towering cumulonimbus clouds. You also have a change in wind direction with height called wind shear. This creates a horizontal vortex. Powerful currents of air known as updrafts and downdrafts form around the storm. Now, here's where the magic happens. When there is deep rotation, the storm can become a mesocyclone. That dark cloud is now spinning. This means the storm has become a supercell, the most dangerous type of storm. It forms just before a tornado. The mesocyclone sucks in warm air and cool air wraps around it, concentrating the force and eventually a funnel will start forming at the bottom of the cloud. When the funnel cloud reaches the ground, it officially becomes a tornado and oh my goodness, we need to take shelter now. Let's freeze this shot for a moment so I can show you the power of this storm. The violent winds within the tornado rotate at astonishing speeds, sometimes exceeding 400 kilometres per hour. It can be 10 football fields wide and can travel on the ground for over 50 kilometres, leaving destruction in its path. Few things can withstand that power. It's ripping off roofs and flattening entire towns. And when it's gone, we're left with an almighty cleanup. You might think we'd never see something like this in Australia, but although we don't see ones as powerful as in the US, there can be dozens of tornadoes reported in Australia in any given year. So it's a good thing to keep an eye on the skies.